Today's video is going to be on what I call the rubber band effect. And the rubber band effect is actually not a good thing. One of the huge benefits we get from swinging my training aid, the Pro, is that we learn the role of tension and the state of being stretched as to what keeps things working properly and allows angular momentum to actually transfer in a golf swing. So if I'm swinging my Pro, I, I know I'm doing it well if I'm keeping all the components in a line and that means I'm transferring momentum very efficiently to this because it's staying stretched. Anytime it bends, I know that I'm, I'm, I'm out of whack and I'm adding forces that don't belong. And so this also gives us some insight to how we transfer momentum through the body because the golf swing isn't just between the arms and the club. It's a relationship from the earth to your pelvis, through your legs to your pelvis, to your thorax and kind of rib cage, and then finally into the arms and the golf club. And when players transfer momentum or they try to kind of make some of the moving, the moving parts of the golf swing, oftentimes they do what I call the rubber band effect. And that would be they stretch and then they get loose. So if I'm stretching then I'm loose, I actually lose the ability to transfer momentum. So for instance, it's very common at the top of a golf swing when a player changes directions, they'll either kind of spin their hips really hard, but then it causes kind of a reaction where everything kind of gets jarred and loose. But if I'm going to be a really, really good golfer, I actually and hit a really good golf swing, I actually have to make sure my lower body maintains some tension against my upper body, which then keeps creates a stretch through my arms which then creates a stretch through the club. There's a constant flow of being stretched as you as you move through the golf swing. And to do that, you have to learn how to bypass something that your body naturally does that actually destroys golf swings and that's called myotatic reflex. To transfer momentum successfully, I have to my brain has to learn that it's okay for my for, to feel certain stretches through the body and allow them to happen naturally. You're, you see, when you stretch the muscle spindle, um, like we'll take the arms for example, the, the natural the natural reaction is to actually contract. And so if I if I'm going to transfer momentum and really get my arms to speed up, but I contract them inwards, then coming down, I'm actually slowing down the system, which then allow, which then forces me to have to use my hands. When I swing my pro. I'm able to start to learn the feel of how energy flows and extends away from me, which means that I'm actually starting to learn how to bypass that myotatic reflex, that, that want to contract. And so since we're, we're all, we, all have, we all have a brain that we can use and we, we learn physical skill, we actually, through training, we can learn how to bypass this, which is a fundamental um, necessity to getting good at hitting a golf, to, hitting, to, hit, to getting good at swinging the golf club. So in conclusion here, I need to understand that tension is actually a good thing in a golf swing and what I don't want is I don't want snappy movements where I get that rubber band effect but I want to create a fluid energy transfer which means I always have to feel how tension and, and expansion works away from me as opposed to trying to hold in tight or trying to force, force something to happen in the golf swing. So remember, the pro teaches us that tension is a good thing. And once we can experience how to feel tension through the body in the right way without going into the rubber band effect, we're going to be much better for it.